number two is to blue. It's called the functional. structure. So let's say we were a baker. We started as the entrepreneurial stage and we had one bakery and it was doing quite well. And now you're opening two more bakeries in different cities in the same country. Well, you start to get things a bit more tidy in terms of your business structure. So you, um, first of all, set up a limited company. You don't train in your own name anymore and you're going to have different type of hierarchy here. So what you would do is you would do a board. We will see what a board is at the governance chapter. And then you would split the different parts in maybe accounting. sales, marketing, uh, finance, so now you're breaking the company by function, all right, so you don't have just one guy at the top anymore, you have um, you have broken it up by different types of functions. So now people can specialize. You're not the one who's doing everything now. People who are good at marketing are going to be in the marketing department. People who are good at sales are going to be in the sales department. So they can specialize in their own um, expertise. It's also better to raise funds, right? Banks like this, shareholders like this better than the simple structure. It focuses on outputs. So there's a better focus on output. But there will be communication issues because marketing doesn't want to talk to sales sales doesn't want to talk to marketing they don't talk the same language accounting speaks accounting marketing speaks like marketing and they just don't, don't work together no so there's no coordination anymore and it's slower. And if I just go back here, quick decisions. Um, res more responsive. Okay. 